Hey guys, welcome back. This is another video. We will talk about how to do an Android backup. There are a couple of conditions here. Your phone has to be rooted here and you need to have some kind of recovery software, for example, Twerp or CMW. This should be installed and there are two ways you can take backup. Either you can store on the phone itself or you can use any of the USB OTG supported for your device here. And in case you are storing your phone backup on your phone, so make sure to maintain at least 10 to 15 gigabytes of storage because standard backup takes near to 7 to 8 gigabytes. So this is about the storage and make sure to charge your phone completely and if possible try to take some offline backup there is no need uh, to just rely completely on that thing. Sometimes you know when you try to flash it's not possible to completely things getting failed or to so as you can see here today morning I was just trying to install it here and accidentally uh, I was not able to install the Cyanogen Mod 40 that's why I was not able to film any video from today it took so much time here then I completely restored back here so this is a uh, stuff when you need when you uh, you know going to uh, do a lot of ROM based installation so this is very important otherwise in case you're not doing such thing there's no need of these kinds of stuff so let's go and see how you can uh, take complete Android backup and restore when we need it so once you have configured your phone and then we can get inside this here so make sure your phone is rooted simply go to the play store here and download an application called 12 manager here is the one you will get when you install that so uh, this is simple interface uh, that get the same functionality when you go your device into recovery or bootloader so this is uh, what you will get here with the interface here is you don't need to use physical key combination to get inside the recovery you need to go inside this uh, backup here and let me tell you a couple of the points here so when you do this android backup it's not going to store your uh, physical uh, data for example photos pictures and documents it is it is only going to take the backup of the complete android os and the application that you have installed and the application settings at the moment for example today itself so you can leave it this uh, settings to in that way in case you want to have cache backup too so you can select to but it will increase the backup size also the cache simply takes you know application cache or android cache itself so in case you're really peculiar about all the important settings of the complete whole stuff so you should be selecting it otherwise you should leave in that way so once you do with that one you need to just click here uh, backup now so the phone will go inside the recovery mode itself you don't need to use physical keys here simply click ok and you can see backup is already started first of all uh, we will see some of the important points that is going on here so you can see uh, it shows a couple of the stuffs here uh, backup folder set to it uh, takes exactly the you know date and time here today is the 23rd of September 2016 and also does takes here the time at which we started that is uh, 15 uh, 3 36 p.m. Uh, right now here and also if you just go down here it shows a number of backups here a number of total backup size it shows is 729 MB that is near to 7.2 gigabytes here so make sure your phone have at least 20 to 20 gigabytes of free space and it shows also the backup uh, folder you can see data media slash slash is actually your internal storage so you can uh, simply use any of the good file explorer for example es file explorer you can go inside this folder to our backups and this is the date you can see some uh, random file number here then it shows exact date so using that you can uh, restore your backup or in case in the future if you have many backups if you want to delete those backup files simply you can uh, using the file manager you can go inside that directly you can delete that folders from here so make sure to have at least one recent backup so that in case uh, you want to restore to any time here you can simply go and restore that So we are came online and phone is booted so let's go inside here so i'll quickly take you uh, to the stuff where you can see the we see here the backup folder here so you can either use the twerp here same twerp manager so we'll go inside twerp manager and you need to just click on this restore option here once you go inside this restore it will show you all the possible backups so this is the backup we just now took here on 23rd September at 336 started and it was a two day before I took backup so now I can easily go and delete that one here now guys uh, here you can see now we can see where the actual file is located so you can use any of the file explorer which does suppose the root browsing so this is the ES file explorer C C twerp and backups so these are the folder just now uh, see this is the one we if I just change it to view here to uh, medium list you can see 
this is what we just take in here at 336 on here this is how you can do that now we will try to see how you can restore that so instead of uh, going from here as you can see we can do the same from here uh, just go to restore so i will simply this time go inside the recovery so we will use here power button so this feature you will get once you have enabled the advanced reboot so since your device is rooted so you might have all this feature go here to recovery first Now a quick look here how to take backup from here simply go inside this backup you can see once you uh, this is the same way what we saw there it has selected the same boot data and system and we left the cache but here it shows the size that is more important so you can click here and then simply swipe to backup it will show that otherwise uh, if you want to take your backup on this USB OTG device there you need to select the storage here you need to select USB OTG if you are plugged in your OTG it will take backup on the OTG here so since I have not using OTG so I can cancel from here now you can go back here if you want to restore just click on the restore button here so I will show you guys exactly how to restore that one so this is what we took here and I want to go two days back here so I will just click here so it's going to take all the stuffs here and enable and refile this is optional you can leave it that way you can either delete backup from here so i will show you how to delete backup from here so this is the current backup we have taken so i will just click delete backup here swipe to delete so this is the one we just now took it was deleted here successfully decrypted with default password and it's deleted all right you can see uh, now we'll go back here again this is the one here we'll just click here and uh, restore here so swipe to restore so it's going to restore our device here so it will show this time exactly how much is the size of the 7.3 gigabytes and also how much percentage is for done so we'll just wait here to let it complete As you can see guys uh, our complete resolution has been done so it shows exactly uh, restore completed in 466 you can calculate how much time it takes here it shows some stuff here from which folder has been restored now we'll uh, quickly restore the system and see whether our app has been restored or not so we'll just unlock it here and uh, as you can see guys it's exactly a restore all the stuffs too you can see uh, when we were installing that uh, restoring that one so we were not here there was a youtube studio creator studio was open but since it has been removed so it exactly restored all the stuffs here and if you just go inside there there is no i guess solid file explorer yeah there is not there because i was using that one after storing that one here so this is how guys you can take complete backup and restore here and uh, make sure to you know root your phone properly install turb and turp manager and uh, check for your device here on the xda forum which things are related for your device because sometimes if turp is not compatible you will not be able to restore all the do these things here and use turp manager this is very nice app to do all the stuff that you don't need to get inside this recovery each time here so that's it guys for this video hope you guys find this video helpful in case you are still concerned with squadies you can connect me on twitter as a share support or you can officially go to my facebook page here and you can uh, uh, comment me itself and i used to reply you whenever it is possible so thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you soon, this is Sarah, have a great day.